Welcome back, everybody, to TXP3 here at St. Clair College. Jumping in for our third match of the day within the round robins. We got Penj all day versus GG Supernova. And once again, my name is Seymour, joined by Denial. How are you feeling after uh, the last match you were on? Oh, man, I'm still reeling and recovering after the intensity that was that last match. Pulsive versus Saints. It came down to so many close situations. Brandon with the heartbreaker in that second and last round. Yeah. You saw that. Did you see that? I, you know, it was, I, I was trying not to watch it. But it, was like, it. It felt a little bit disheartening watching St. Clair oh. kind of get you know beaten on their own main stage. But uh, <laughs> When you put it like that, it's really disheartening. But it's a good team you're going up against. Impulsive. Fair. And it, it's tough when you, you see stuff like that, especially you know when we're at St. Clair College. But when you have a team like Pulsive coming out, you know a lot of them having a lot of reps over the years within uh, the Call of Duty scene. I mean, God Bowser making it to one of the Challenger Elites this year. Game. He's just he's showing that, you know, he's just one of those players that's going to come out here for the chance to win, not just mm -hmm. come out to TXP for, you know, to, just to play. He wants to win. And taking down St. Clair right away, a team that a lot of people, you know, looking at this TXP3 team coming off of our, or coming into TXP3, St. Clair just came off of a, a win at Nationals in mm -hmm. uh, the collegiate scene. So a lot of people had high hopes for that squad. Pulsive take them down and, you know, that's going to continue your day for the round robin denial into now what is i'd say a really close match between penj all day and gpd supernova i was talking in with one of the members off of supernova uh <laughs> j ray he was mentioning that um they're friends on both sides of the stage. Uh, oh, they know each nice. other, and I'm kind of expecting a little bit of banter throughout it as well. I, I hinted to towards him. I said, it's a little too quiet in the stadium. Oh, you yeah. got to get loud for me. I, I want to hear you through the door of the, the casting room from the main stage. I want to hear him get loud on, on stage. That's all I want today. Absolutely. Hey, I'm a fighting game guy. If there's one thing I'm used to, it's people screaming at each other. And I was told that's what Call of Duty players do, but no one's yelling at each other so I'm not far. impressed. You know what I mean? I want to... I want to have to go out there and yell at them to stop yelling. Hey. I'm trying to yell at them playing the game. Hey, let's hope he won here. There's a little bit of banter between both teams. And for Call of Duty Tournament, I'm not impressed with the players coming out here being real quiet, especially not on the side all. stations, too. We get a little bit of trash talk, but not enough for a Call of Duty local. So I'm hoping that today, between these two, especially that little camaraderie between teams, mm -hmm. you know, now they're pit against each other. Hopefully they're going to get loud there throughout this, uh, this matchup. Again, just for a reminder for those who maybe missed out on the first two games it is a best of three within the round robin until we make it into the bracket play once we reach bracket play we're going to be looking at best of five so again we're going to be looking at the hard point search and destroy into the control and the two guaranteed maps we have for this mm -hmm. best of three it's going to be a vista hard point for our map number one Perfect. and then a rio search and destroy for our map number two hoping okay. we get that control into that map number three but i'm excited to see a little bit of diversity in our first two maps absolutely seeing some maps here i know the last we definitely didn't see any of those we saw a uh, six star six star and then one other one at the end there i want to see something new i want to go to rio take me to brazil of course i want to see, see the what, what's brazil known for uh mardi gras no that's something in america no it's a festival i know it's a festival the carna car carnival or something i, I forget what they it got is the Jesus well. statue. I want to see that in Call of Duty. Make it they're the, a mission where they have to blow that up and then like save a guy inside of it, and then they got to take him to the president. You know, Call of Duty loves doing stuff like that. And you walk away from the explosion without even looking at the explosion, you know, too. Sunglasses like on. That. That's the way it goes. Absolutely. But, you know, I, I think uh, this map set is is very fun when mm -hmm. you look at this. These two. I mean, you have a Vista Hardpoint. It's one of the more newer Hardpoint maps okay. inside of the game, uh, coming in for I think season two or season three, um, and it adds a little bit of. Uh, uh, I'd say fast-paced rhythm to the game when it comes down <laughs> to Call of Duty needed more of that. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, pressure on the subs uh, to make the plays. Okay, okay. Because it's a smaller map. You have a lot of routes to play. You have a lot of chances to hit those flakes. And I think for Vista, you're going to be keeping your eye on those SMGs to kind of uh, open up some lanes, allow for those ARs to get into those power positions, especially in hard point. You want your assault rifle players to be in a good position to mm -hmm. keep those uh, lanes, I'd say, locked down, not allowing those SMGs to start running. But the fact that we're getting a Vista which allows for that kind of play style. Mm -hmm. And then a Rio for a search and destroy, which also allows for that kind of play style. It's going to be a big series for those SMGs to hopefully go big for both of these two teams. But Denial, it seems like we're ready for oh, yeah. game number one. Vista, hard point, GG Supernova. Looking to be on the left. Uh, and then uh, P uh, Penjolte, uh, PJAT for the acronym on the right.
Oh, well, Snade taking out two of both of them were his teammates. Unfortunately for Dabo, intentional or not, they are starting things with a bang. Pun heavily intended. What just Ever happened? I have no idea, but I love it. PJ all day holding on this point. Aram, this is, this is Call of Duty for sure. This is a lot of stuff going on, and everything looks very disorganized. A, a lot of explosions, a lot of chaos going on at uh, once, and, you know, we're doing our best to follow along. But this GG Supernova team heading into this game for their round robin, mm. they won their last series and went all the way to a game number three. They showed composure in the round five for the control. You know this team can kind of settle when the pressure is laid down. So for PJ all day, you know, starting off strong with 17 to five uh, for that first hard point. It's rotation Ooh. over towards P2 and I know PJ all, uh, all day are going to be able to have that early setup as well. A ramp with the MCW just waiting. Yeah, this is absolute chaos, but it seems things are calming down for better or for worse. At least the chaos is getting more concentrated where it needs to be. Hard point being fought over. Pele coming around the corner. Yeah, actually, he's was to take that kill. I thought he was dead for sure. Getting shot at by two different players and another member of GG Supernova taking him out. But now, Hardpoint is just Pele. He uh, seems to be indestructible so far. It's going to be contested behind. He's going to turn around, but he's going to get taken down ultimately. 35 seconds left on this Hardpoint. Wonders doing wonders. Taking down Dabo. Storm CL. Or Storm CL. Going to get a headshot. Nice one on Frizzy. And with 20 seconds left, it seems that things are finally calming down a little bit. Yeah, and, and that's Fantastic teamwork from Penj all day for that, you know, the team shots that were coming in, especially for GG Supernova, who had that quick spawn. They just kept on hitting that one at a time. And the crossfire, especially for that P2, it's Ooh. tough. But with those spawns, you know, GG Supernova, they're going to be able to get this early setup over towards P3. A lot of angles to cover here if you're Penj all day. A lot of places to check. And Twix, he's going to be able to take this first engagement. Won't walk away with that kill. And this is a much-needed time for GG Supernova. They just cannot allow for the break to come in. A couple kills go their way. That's going to further cement this time for them. Pendulum Day, they're going to have to look at this from a different angle. Yeah, and it looks like they're finding them desperately. You see these exchanges, these gunfights, always going the way of GG Supernova, so they have to find a different approach to make these fights more advantageous for them. 30 seconds left on this hard point. GG Supernova able to get it for the most part, but it's going to get contested now. Penj all day making their way over there. Dabo's going to go down. That's going to be another opportunity for Penj all day to make some more magic happen, but unfortunately Unfortunately, they're gonna lose that push. It's gonna be sticking firmly in the hands of GG Supernova. Once again, and picked off by Jay Stwix, but his teammate running down, giving chase, does not want to let that slip through his hands. Point is completely open. Now it's occupied. Penj all day is gonna take it, but G Supernova already on the next one. Yeah, and these two hills combined together can be a lot of time for your team. So Supernova doing a good job at holding those respawns in favor of the rotation. But a couple players over for nice. Penj all day. Gonna get it behind his A-Ram for four in a row, 11 and seven here on Vista. Now for a time to shake things up. Aram gonna be caught in the corner, but that's a quick trade for Penj all day to solidify their hold inside this time. Dapo gonna take a look at this one with the rival, but there's players all over the place to worry about. It's another three down for GG Supernova. Pele's gonna be hiding away, see if he can blow things up, but he needs some teammates and he needs them fast. Yeah, Pele is going to lose his life and just completely running past him like he's nothing. Penj all day. They are storming this point, establishing control and domination. In fact, they're just leaving one man on there, leaving the rest to scout and scavenge for any pickoffs that they can find. It seems to be working out for them very well. Jay Swix taking out Dabo on that flank, but, you know, GG Supernova looks to be just trying to recover. They're playing things one step at a time, one hard point at a time. Hopefully they're going to be able to take advantage of the next one and really bring things back from Penjal Bay. He had a big battle there. Aram has been fantastic at these long-range battles. He's going to be in for the early time with that MCW. This flank coming out from Supernova, so J-Ray should be able to clean up the player and Hill. He will, looking for two. No, Storms with the rifle nine. Oh, lovely shots there. Oh Help is in. Another set of kills. It's a clean four for Penjolte to continue. These early breaks for the time just continues to lay down the success for this team. The lead just continuing to grow for them as well. Spawns on the other side for GG Supernova. They're stuck in the back, and I like this call with 25 seconds. I mean, you mm -hmm. want to get them out of the hill, but again, you need to fight for this middle map control, which they're going to do so that they can try to get some time here on P1. 
running him down, hoping to find something. Gonna lose one of your teammates there, but at least you establish a little bit more control of the mid. Like you said, I think that's a pretty smart strategy to go for. You're gonna lose that hard point, but by establishing mid control, no matter where that hard point's gonna go, you're gonna at least have a good chance of fighting for it. But thankfully, hard point, they're gonna be sitting right on top of it as it spawns, but I don't think Penj all day is gonna be very comfortable letting them get that for free as ARM already making his way in, taking down one, now two. Beautiful kill, and just like that, Penj all day completely taking control of this hard point. That little, little tactic for GG Supernova, not gonna work out for them in the end. And now they already have to fight for a retake and they don't have the luxury of waiting much longer. 160 now for Penj all day. It's yeah, close. I mean, you can tell just by looking at the scoreline that there's just something missing for this GG Supernova team, especially when they're getting this early control for the mm. time. Uh, I mean, Penj all day just constantly finding a way to break and those kills just following up. It's all red in the feed. Nobody is hardly dying for Penj all day. Fantastic game coming out from Wonders, 16 and 9. ARAM, 18 and 13. A lot of engagements going their way. And I think for GG Supernova, you can have to Beautiful. see a couple of these players just start to turn things on in the second set of rotation because they cannot get the early rotations and be broken within 15 seconds like we've seen in the past couple of hills. So they're going to be the first ones over towards oh. P2. And this is where they need to get a big chunk of time or we might Absolutely. be saying goodbye to map one. And hey, if they're going to find it at any point, I think this will be their best shot at it. I think they have a really good foothold on this hard point. But as I say that, they're losing one after the other, after the other, Jay Swix tearing them apart. Finally, Jay Ray's nade going to take him down. And GG Supernova able to find their way back onto the point before Pen J is able to do so. But they all, they're all here. It looks like bubble gum over on that hard point. It's just so much pink covering it completely. They just have to do their best. And hey, honestly, it's not looking too bad for them. They have some feet on the ground and not too far behind now from Penj. They just have to stick here as long as they can, but ultimately gonna lose it out. 15 seconds going to Penj most likely. Yeah. They have to fight for the next point. Uh, you break 100, but at the same time, now Penj all day getting closely to breaking 200. So you're still yeah. down a whole 100 points heading into that third rotation again. You got a big chunk of time last time you were over at this hill, but Storms is fighting for it, and this is gonna be a big player. You have to watch out for just being that annoyance, not allowing GG Supernova to get the full setup. The ARM's gonna go down. Twix with the follow-up. Storm's nice. getting hunted. It's three down for PG and Penj all day. And this is the setup that you're looking for for GG Supernova. You see everybody is spawning out onto the other side of P1. So this is where those ARs can get set up. Hold those lanes and make sure none of these subs can get in. But oh my god. Goodness wonders, he's gonna open up those floodgates, and that's it. That's it for the hill. They broke. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but G Supernova are gonna lose control here, and seems like it's gonna be quite difficult for them to find it, unfortunately. Camping him out there prone. Not able to aim down fast enough, but on that stairway, he's gonna get jumped down. Seems like GG Supernova able to find their feet on the point once more, but ARAM looking to make that as difficult as possible. He's gonna fall to Frizzy, hiding behind that bar. They're gonna most likely get the last 10 seconds here. Might get contested, but smart for them. GG Supernova just looking to play for the next point. Seven seconds gonna go the way of uh, PenJ. And uh, GG Supernova, they just have to make sure they can hold this next one, if anything. Wow. 40 points away for PenJ to win the game. Yeah, and that would have been big for Dabo to stay alive. Now the spawns are thrown in the back, and you can see that no, everybody no. off respawn are gonna be most likely looking at parallels to race back over towards this hill. Nobody in for the time on GG no Supernova. And this is time that you desperately need, and here yeah. come the subs over the top storms looking to see if he can get anything. It's Wonders. Top rail, Ooh. shots just not able to connect. And that's gonna be GB Supernova back in towards the hard point. 32 seconds, now looking to cut this lead back down. Seems like Penj all day gonna take another swing at things. Yeah, and it looks like they're doing a pretty good job of holding this one. They got the sight lines maintained. Wonders is gonna take down one. He's gonna fall right after next to his teammate who's gonna go down ARAM, headshot in that alleyway. GG Supernova Croach, encroaching upon 170, most likely gonna end up near 180 when this hard point switches over. They're scavenging, they're crawling, trying to find the next hard point, but unfortunately, it's gonna be right under Penjay's nose. They're going to have to do their best to try to fight for control and do it fast because, like I said, 40 seconds away from Penjay all day to take this game. Oh, I don't storms. know if they can do this one. Trying to fight as hard as they can, but, oh, Storm's taking that fight. 
Pen uh, G's moving over there, running for this point fast. Yeah, it's gonna cause these spawns to be all over the place. Penj all day, gonna be able to collapse from so many different angles. You're gonna need some individuals to go big and Pele! Oh, oh, oh three shots to the MCW! Four. He's gonna find all four! Five in a row for Pele, keeping the team in control of P5. This is a moment that can turn the game. Absolutely, and if you're on Penj all day, you absolutely do not want to lose to a situation like that. But GG Supernova, this might just be the play that they needed to get them back in this game. It, just at the doorstep of 200 now. Penji all day, they are not that far away anymore. But they're gonna be getting the last scrap points, as they to call it, for this hard point. But next hard point's as good as anybody's. Yeah. 30 points away for Penji for taking this game. But GG Supernova, they're closing the gap and fast. Yeah, they have been slowly chipping away at things, heading into the third set of rotations. I mean, 223 to 197. GG Supernova, they have another streak as well. And the players are starting to find these kills to follow up in their control. So this is their chance to put their foot down, see if they can come back and sneak this win away. Dabo's going to be in. Frizzy finds the kills, but it's a set for Penji all day. Now they have a chance to close it out. Still playing. Plenty of time to win map one here. 20 seconds left. Penj, they're, they're fighting for this so hard. This is looking to be one of their last assaults possible. 10 seconds remaining. Are they going to be able to get this one going? It's so close. Your last push, your last moment. J-Ray, do you have this one? Finds one, but he's going to take it out. His teammates over on the other side. He's going to go down as well. Just one more, two more coming out that door. They take one out. He's trying to fight. It's the last gunfight. You need Frizzy so low. It's no time. But, no, oh, wait. They're contesting it long enough. They're going to find it. There's still one more hardpoint that they have to fight for. Yes. And it's on the bottom side. Yeah, six seconds left. J-Ray through mid. A couple gunfights that they need to find, but J-Ray goes down. The kills come through, and nobody from GG Supernova are able to make it. Penj all day slowly inching their way to the finish line. It wasn't clean. It got a little bit scary towards the end, but they get the job done in map number one. And I'm sure that's a sweat off their forehead. <laughs> sure that is not as close as they would have expected it with how that first set of rotations went. A lot of good moments for this Penjal Day team, but I think it shows the resilience from GG Supernova that we did see from them. The way that they were able to come back from this one. Not the best game from Dabo, 16 and 36. Definitely could put some eyes on that for hopefully able to turn things around heading into map number two. But that is the matchup that I was hoping to see. A hotly contested finale of that Vista hardpoint. That was fantastic. That was absolutely beautiful. There's nothing I like more. It doesn't even matter what game it is i can know absolutely nothing i can know everything as long as it's close i can enjoy it and i think that was one of the best games i've gotten to see today of course the last one was great but this one was a lot closer and again that's what i'm looking for seeing um gg supernova just fight so hard to get those plays and pele just punching a hole through the defense with that 4k just dropping the nuke on them i know you need a lot more kills to get a nuke okay but he was basically dropped the nuke <laughs> on them and opened up that sight line for his team unfortunately they weren't able to tie it together Together, but it was a hell of a match. It's one hell of a match for sure, but it's not done just yet. No. It is a best of three, so we are at least going to get one more. Um, hopefully, two for the sake of oh, those yeah. GG Supernova fans out there. But heading into the Search and Destroy up next, again, we're heading over towards Rio. And I'm a little bit worried because, again, like I touched on towards the end of that, not a good map from Dabo. Mm. And you're going to have to see a turnaround from a player like him because if there's going to be any routes that are open on Rio, uh, you saw constantly players from the side of Penj all day were punishing that, constantly flanking, constantly finding a way to just punch right through the middle. And you need to find that kind of co cohesion if you are GG Supernova and shut that down because if Davo's not stepping up, you know, maybe you lose here, but then you have to be worried about later on down the line versus teams that are even better than this Penjol Day team. And f you need to have all pieces here for TXP3 if you're going to want to walk away from this Saturday with a strong one. So I'm hoping to see Davo turn it around here in game number two. Well, hey, maybe Davo's not doing so hot, but Pele's definitely pulling the weight for, for the sure. team. That, I think he had 33 at the end of that game, um, doing an, an astronomical job of just finding what the team needs. And that's the thing with Call of Duty. There's so much that you don't see that goes into team play. Even just something as complex, but as important as playing for the spawns. And the way, I feel like the last game I was watching, the Saints versus Impulsive, I felt like a lot of those games came down, or the way it was going, came down to the fact the Saints weren't able to win those gunfights. A little bit simpler. But I feel like that game we just watched, I feel like it was not that simple how, uh, you know, uh, Penjay all day was able to take that one out. I feel like there it was so much going underneath 
the hood. And I want to know what your thoughts are on how they were able to take that one out. I mean, you just look at the rotations that they were able to find. They lost majority of the rotations, especially in the second set. But mm -hmm. they were still managing to break those hills in the first 10, 15 seconds. And mm -hmm. it comes down to the setups that GG Supernova are just not able to put together. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the communication side, if GG Supernova just are not clicking together in that sense. But there's obviously some issues that are allowing this Penj All Day team to kind of break the setups that are kind of put in front of them. And for GG Supernova heading into map number two, this is a team that definitely will talk things over between maps. I mean, I was sitting behind them over on the side stations just in their last game and between maps you had uh j ray their igl just sitting there like trying to get some chatter between them just saying hey guys like let's start talking more let's start making sure that we're covering each other mm -hmm. start trying to be you know and, and trying to initiate some kind of conversation between themselves that will have that i guess proactivity within their play style and heading into the search and destroy i need to see that again because it's just something wasn't clicking with gg supernova and that hard point at least in the start uh, you saw in the third set of rotations or heading into the third set of rotations the comeback was there they had a chance to win that and obviously this team has you know the capabilities of taking down this penjol day squad mm -hmm. it's just kind of breaking down your own play style for mm -hmm. GG Supernova. And I think that heading into the search and destroy, a little bit of communication will go a long way for them, especially on a map like Rio. Yeah, especially in Search and Destroy, like you said, there's a lot less room for error. You lose your life, you're out of the round for good. You have to wait for the next one. You're on the bench, buddy. See you next season. Um, but in Search and Destroy on Rio, I know you mentioned that Vista and Rio, very uh, sub-favored. Rotations a lot are going to be super important. Yeah. Um, what makes it really special on this map that you think is going to help or hinder either of these teams, if you have to say? Well, you have a chance if you're the attacking team to get that bomb down really fast, especially okay. considering that A site um, is, you know, fairly open. You know, for the defending side, you don't want to put players in a very compromised position. So you mm -hmm. kind of leave that bomb site on the more open side, playing very passive towards it. You don't want to take those early gunfights in, you know, a, a dangerous situation. So you see players and teams more often than not, they give up that bomb site. They allow okay. for the plant to go down and they retake it, mostly through mid, trying to hit the flank and pinching together. Together, but on uh, on the attacking side, it's just you have that capabilities of getting that early setup, especially if you get those early plants on in the first couple of rounds without there being trophies where you can just bombard the defensive team, push them back, bomb down, you set up your defense, and then you can mm -hmm. watch your angles. It's, it's very kind of straightforward the way that you take your attacking rounds on Rio, especially if you are one of those faster teams trying to get control of the map. The only issue is when you're trying to face kind of pushback in that whole sense, a, a lot of potential potential for retakes on a map like Rio. And that is just because of how small the map is. Right. Uh, it allows for the defensive team to get that middle map control. If they get it uncontested, they can start a flank immediately, get into your spawn. Now you have to watch two separate angles. And that's where things get a little bit troublesome if you are the attackers. So we're starting off with P Penge all day for the attacking side. I want to see how they're going to approach it. Because without those trophies, you don't usually see contestion through the middle of the map in these first couple of rounds. But right away, they're going to go for this B side they're gonna hit this together with a little split push split push might be what they need to get things started like you said seems that the defending side gg supernova they don't want to be fighting too hard they don't want to lose a player especially in a map that could be as explosive as this one it's small compact a lot of engagements now they're going to be trying their best to make sure that opele is going to find that first one now it's a 3v3 situation trying to make their way back onto the site to get the defuse. And Supernova just trying to force their way through the middle up the escalator. Stapo going to split the difference into an advantage. Aram keeps it even 2 on 2 with 19 seconds left. And Aram has a chance to really save the day here. He's spending so much time for them to hunt him down. And he's doing a great job of just burning that clock. It's Jay Ray in a 1v2, but there's just no time to make it happen. Wonders hiding away in the corner. Penjol Day taking the first attacking round in a very, very fantastic way. It's all down to just playing that time clock to a T. Yeah, I feel like confidence is always a big part, and I felt like that one looked pretty confident from them. They didn't hesitate. They didn't look like they didn't know what they were doing. They had a game plan, and they executed it well. 
worked out for them in the end. Heading into this next round with the roles reversed, of course. Hopefully, um, Penge all day are going to be able to hold down those sites. And if they do decide to give them up, hopefully they can come back for the retakes. Yeah, and I like that out of Penge all day. The offset timing into mid to wait out those lethals and stuns, not allow any information, and get that plant down as fast as possible using that smoke. Now, opposite side, Supernova taking that swing over at toward this A site, but instead, Ooh. a lot of pushback from Penge all day. Wonder is able to find two before going down. And the nade's gonna find it, but bottom in a tough spot. Gonna have to get picked up. Now Supernova looking to push back in towards the spawn, and this is the troublesome thing about it, Penge. Oh. They're in your spawn, Whoa. they're ready to pounce on you, and he gave up a little bit too much there for Supernova to backpedal. I, I saw him open the door, and there's two there waiting for him. I was like, oh, poor guy. And then he ends up taking out one and surviving. Another one of his teammates there able to take out the other guy there. So that oh, was some Tom Clancy stuff there. That was a coordinated takedown as we're heading into this next round here. Switching sides once again. GG Supernova versus Pench all day. Very, very interesting to see how these teams are taking their approach over on Rio so far. But once again, anything can happen, and I'm excited to see how they want to make this work. Yeah, so where's the answer at here for the defensive side? They're going to send one member up through the Yaskis, two over towards the bridge, and they're going to have a little bit of a meeting here. Frizzy's in trouble. He gets away. Going to need a little bit of help from his AR of Pele. I wonder, looking for that first blood. He's going to swing around. Can he find two? Then he will. Wonders opens up the round with a quick two-piece. Bob's going down in Supernova. They're going to have to retake with such a different disadvantage. Now it's just two left for GG Supernova. Pen J all day. They have it locked down. They have it waiting. They just have to hold it down. Make sure that GG Supernova aren't able to get in. But hey, Pele, he's finding one. Maybe Dabo can find another. Unfortunately, no, he's not going to be able to. It's just Pele. He's going to be able to take down another one. But Twix, oh, unfortunate there. If he was just a little, if he held that a little bit longer, he might have been able to find the kill. But Penj all day, 3 0 over against GG Supernova. They are very, very very dominant so far in this game too. Yeah, and it's Twix here. One of the finishing touches on that round. Three in a row. And that's a tough one too because Supernova, they put so much respect into that round to, you know, hopefully play for that quick plan that Penge all day were looking for. And then Wonders just in the blink of an eye, popping a two-piece <laughs> on both staircases. Really making it tough for Supernova to retake that without having that map control that they had prior to it. So these opening engagements, Really favoring the side of Penge all day and Supernova. Should look towards LA. finding some kind of answer in that whole situation. These first bloods would be so Ooh. important to get. Frizzy though, he goes down in you. Quick trade from Pele's gonna keep it even, but the bomb leading over towards B. They're still gonna take a shot at this one and they have a player to worry about. It's Aram jumping right out there. He takes down Dabo and he's getting away. He's doing such a great job so far. It's just one man standing. J-Raid, the last man with the bomb. He's going to go down once again. 4-0 for Penj all day. I don't think they even want to give them a single one here. It's looking very one-sided so far. I'm sure much to the delight of Penj all day. They're going to show off what they're made of here. But G Supernova, like you said, I'm sure they are capable of more than this. But they just have to make things work out. Figure out exactly how they want to go about this. Figure out their approach. And they have to go for it again. Search and destroy. There's not a lot of room for error. So whatever you do, you got to make sure you're comfortable doing it. You don't get second chances. But now we're going in. Storms running in with the bomb. They're trying to throw out some nades, see if they can find anything. Even a hit marker or two would give them some information. But as they're going up, Pele finds the first kill, actually, in Penj all day. Looking a little bit scary, maybe. Yeah, that first blood. That's big, but a trade over towards the bridge. Frizzy is going to keep those numbers... As it's two for one engagement in favor of GG Supernova over towards the bridge side of the map. There's a plant going down at A, and Aram's going to take it in his own hands to wrap this flank quickly. I'm not sure they're going to be able to read this. No, they won't. And Aram's going to get away with murder, quite literally. <laughs> Goes back into double dip, but Davos says not this time. Two versus one now for GG Supernova. The best chance to put a round on the board. It storms against them. Bomb down and time in his hands. Will he be able to finesse the system yet again? I think so. Maybe it's it wouldn't it's a two v one, but it's not impossible. No and now just like that, it's a one v one. You got to choose a side to approach him. You got to choose an angle, and you chose wrong. Unfortunately, Penj all day taking up five zero in the search and destroy versus GG Supernova. You're looking a little surprised here. This is not what we're hoping to see. We wanted to go to a game three. Yeah, I was expecting to go to a game three. Why are we hopping the bomb in a one v one? 
Oh, that is, uh, it's tough because you don't have the time to play the kill, but you, you really don't have the spacing to really hop the bomb in that fashion. Storm's playing that to a T, the hop up for that first kill, putting him into a successful position. 5-0 for Penj all day. What a surprise here versus GG Supernova, who I would have expected to put up a little bit more of a fight here on Rio. Mm. But now facing... A loss to this Penj all day team. How much pushback will we see? A very passive defensive hold for Penj. Expecting a little bit of pressure early towards B. Bomb is open for a plant. Three members of Penj watching that this, uh, thinking that this bomb's heading over towards A. They're wrong on this case. They're gonna get the plant down now. A little bit of a delay, but Jason. Oh, the timing. He's finding his way up, just narrowly avoiding him, and unfortunately, that would have been a huge opportunity. He didn't take it, though. Now, running through storms, finding Dabo. It seems a very, very common situation here, but J all day with just one man standing. But again, it's a 1v2 situation. Far from impossible, especially if we see a repeat from that last round. Surely not. I'd hope not if I'm on GG Supernova. Aram with just the pistol runs through, and at least we're going to see one round for GG Supernova. We live to see another round of Rio. Uh, he's GG Supernova playing that really well. I, but, you know, I don't want to take anything away from them. But I think just Penj all day had the wrong read for this one. I'm not sure if it was an early connection of their tactical or, or nade or some early info that went their way. But a lot of focus over towards that A-bomb when all three members of Supernova were leaning over towards B, uh, an easy plant goes their way. They get the first blood onto the member sitting over towards escalators. And you know, it's just at that point, Supernova playing towards that trade game, setting themselves up for a good win there. Put themselves on the board. Can they make it two? Three members out over towards the bridge. Another first blood, this time Frizzy. Dabo staying alive. Now in a 4v3, you have a member hitting the flank. And that's Frizzy looking to just flood all the way oh, through. Wow. That was very clean from Wonders. It was basically that kill was served up to him on a silver platter. But he's going to have to work for this one a little bit more. And he finds that J-Ray headshot down. It's a 2v2 situation. Now Storm's making it a 2v1. But this time, it's just Dabo here. And uh, just him has to hold down this site. Storm's and Wonders finding their way over. They're going to get the plant. But he's behind the bomb there. He's not going to be able to peek him out, get any kills. And they're going to slide their way into the garage. Now this is looking to be a very impossible situation. There's a, there's no real winning here. But you got to try your best. Go for something. And going up on the truck finds one. Can he go around? Almost, but not quite. He's going to go down. Panjay all day taking this 6-1 to one over GG Supernova. And what a chance there from Dabo, too, over the truck, finding that first kill. Snap over to where Storm's here. I want to see how tanked up he got. Not at all. <laughs> a, a clean shot there from Storms, winning this game, winning their round robin match, and, and in a flawless way, nearly. Uh, a tough hard point towards the end, very close, about 250, and I want to say like 201 back on Vista hard point, 6 to 1 in the search and destroy. It's a walk in the park here for Penj all day up against GG Supernova. I was not expecting that whatsoever leading in towards this one. The way that uh, GG Supernova were playing over on towards the side stage. They look mm. fantastic. The small talk, the way that they were trying to adapt across all three modes. Um, obviously, some issues being shown there in the search and destroy once again. Mm -hmm. uh, close call in the hard point, almost sneaking that one away. But heading into the rest of their round robin matches now, I'm sure tied 1-1 in their pool. They're going to have to look at a way at fixing that search and destroy because you can see that in that second game mode. It just does not look like it's very comfortable there. 6-1 to one is not a good look. Not at all. And especially in a game mode that can be a stress as that one there's very few situations where you will be the last hope for yeah. your team 1v3 situation and you can win your tournament life might be on the line you got to be able to face those situations and do so without breaking a sweat and taking things through but unfortunately in that game at the very least g supernova not able to pull it through but hey you know, let's celebrate a little bit. Penji all day. They played great, didn't they? They did. They played <laughs> fantastic. I, I love the way that I was seeing the way that they were handling that search and destroy. Round number one on the Rio. The offset timing to go for that quick plant at B. Using that smoke as well to block off the vision oh, for the yeah. players who were trying to watch the cross there. I mean, you can see that there was a lot of thought process into the way that Penji all day were coming in towards it. Especially back on Vista. The way that they were breaking those hills within the first 15 to 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys looked fantastic coming out here for a 
pickup team on the main stage at TXP3. I'd love to see more of them, and I do expect to see more of them. Yeah, I hope to see more of them, but I hope to see more of you guys at home. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to send things off to a quick break, but just rest assured, we have so much more Call of Duty action here at TXP3. We're just getting started, but we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. We'll see you after the break.